Okay, moving on again. Have uh, no time to beat around the bush. We gotta get this game a rolling. We're very close to the end now. Well, kinda, but I don't know. I'll get her to it later. <laughs> okay, Stone Cyclone. Again, uh, going a little bit more recent. Uh, this looks familiar to those of you who have played the previous game. Silver Stars on the Cyclone. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Okay, welcome back to the Stone Cyclone Galaxy, or whatever the hell it's called, and yes, uh, this is uh, probably one of the most infamous Mario Galaxy levels. It's definitely one of the most memorable uh, visually, especially since uh, it's extremely easy to uh, just get sucked into a black hole forevermore. Okay, and I actually won't be going for that common metal right away because we're going to have to find Silver Stars, so we should probably go on the beaten path just to actually see where uh, where the right place is to find the Silver Stars. Also, since this game is for pansies, they've actually given you the ability to slow time in this part, which makes it uh, significantly easier. It's still extremely difficult because these guys will kill you very handily in one hit. And uh, yeah, you need to be extremely careful around this area because these blocks love to just push you right into the black hole. Wow, that's really sucky. God damn it. Okay, there we go. I actually managed to land on this comet platform. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I need to get off the comet platform, which is easier said than done. There we go. Okay, now onto this one. Onto this one! There we go! Okay, and safe haven. Sweet. Okay. Holy shit, this is terrifying. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I just know I'm gonna miss one, too. Okay. Screw this guy. Okay. Watching where this guy goes. Okay. Nice try. Okay, and freeze time. Oh, come on. Okay. Why do I got the bad feeling about this? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. Okay, I made it to this section again. Okay, let's slow down time. This is probably a bad time to actually slow down time. This is my safe haven right here. Okay, that was a really bad time to actually slow it. Okay, he's, he can't go over this item block, though. Okay, good. That's actually a clever hint about, like, where your safe haven is going to be, because there's no way that the enemy would be able to go over the item block. Okay, here's another one. Okay, good, I see the last two. Holy shit. Okay, we can do this. I'm not going to count my chickens before they hatch, though. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. <laughs> that is without a doubt the hardest level I've had to do so far. Holy crap, that was difficult. I don't know, just... They're going so goddamn fast. Jesus Christ. And this isn't even the prankster comment. It's just gonna get worse, isn't it? Oh god, I, I can't even fathom what they're going to give us here. Okay, Stone Cyclone. Oh boy, here we go. Tox Box Speedrun. Excuse me? Just get to the end, really? No Silver Stars? Okay, 20 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that the hardest part about this is gonna be, again, getting to the end. Uh, just, it's not even gonna be, like, the time limit that's dicking me over. It's just the f simple fact of getting to the end is impossible. Uh, thankfully, we actually have the ability to, uh, long jump straight to this section near the end of it. Uh, and there we go. Okay, sweet. You're making great time so far. 
I honestly think I might be able to take my time for the rest of it. It was 30 seconds, so uh, I think we actually just got past the hardest part first try. Okay, there's the end platform. I don't think it's possible to make that as Mario. Might be possible as Luigi, but uh, with Mario there's no fr flipping away. So I'm just going to play it safe. Okay. Safe haven's right here. Oh my fuck. Shit. Nam, damn it. Oh my god. I, there's like no timers at the end there. What the hell? Okay, there we go. I made it past that. With a lot more seconds to spare this time. There we go. Oh my god, this level is a complete flippin' nightmare. I swear. This is so much harder than anything we've just done in World at World 7. Anything we've done over the whole game. This is a difficulty spike out of freaking nowhere. Okay, moving on. What the heck is this crown gonna be? Uh, Boss Blitz Galaxy. Oh, God. Um, I did not expect something like this. Shoot. Well, hopefully it's more interesting than Battle Belt. Okay, Throwback Throwdown. Awesome. Oh, my God. They're really talking about throwbacks. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, remember when I thought we'd be fighting Dino Piranha? <laughs> Turns out I was right. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. The first boss of Mario Galaxy 1. I think I'll be fine. <laughs> he even brought back the old music, that's really awesome. They're willing to bring back the music for this, but they're not willing to bring back the acapella Mario from the Sunshine level. Oh well. Okay, good to know that boss is just as easy as it's always been. It's the first level, after all. Okay, moving on. I mean... What? <laughs> King Galiente, awesome. Again, I love that they brought back the music. One thing I actually have to compliment uh, Galaxy 2 on is that the uh, boss fights in the game are actually really strong. They're all very unique, and some of them are really cool, like the skating one in a shiver burn. Really cool. Um, in fact, everything about this game is just relatively strong. I mean, it's more Galaxy. How could you go wrong? Uh, I already get the feeling that we're going to be doing a Daredevil comment for this. I'm not looking forward to it. There we go. Again, first boss in World 1 doesn't go down without much of a fight, considering this is World 7. Okay, this guy should be a little bit more challenging. Oh, the fuzz! Okay. Wow, that would have been the end of the Daredevil run right there. How dumb is that? How close do I have to be? Seriously? Game? Okay, that's not actually what I'm supposed to do. I'm just supposed to sit back like an idiot, apparently. Okay. Apparently not? Okay, what the fuck? So much for Galaxy 1 bosses being easy. There we go. Frick. I don't think the game does a really good job of letting you know that, like, okay, now you can ground pound him. Like, his fuzz is, is, like, open, so you'd think you'd just be able to hit him. Oh, well. Oh, God, he's fast. Hey, okay, screw you. There we go. Okay, now I remember how this boss works. Just getting warmed up. <laughs> oh, God, this is where it gets really fast. Oh, shit. Okay, he's gonna go right back into the ground. I remember that attack. Nice try. 
There we go. Okay, he actually doesn't take that much of a beating. Probably because he's so deadly. Okay. One more boss, I'm guessing. Holy fuck, are you kidding me? We have to refight Bouldergeist? Are you freaking kidding me? Holy shit. <coughs> oh my god, they're gonna make us do a freaking Daredevil run of all of these bosses with Bouldergeist at the end. Okay, I don't know if you guys remember, but Bouldergeist is, I'd, I'd argue, the hardest challenge in in Galaxy 1. I'd say the single hardest star in the game is Bouldergeist Daredevil Run. So the idea of doing all of those bosses again with one health, assuming that's what the Prankster Comet is. Jesus Christ. I hope the game isn't that cruel. There we go. Yeah, that's the easy part out of the way. Here's where the boss fight gets infuriating. Nope. Nice try. Shoot. Yeah, see if we can get a double. There we go. Ideally, when we uh, when we hit him with the bombs, we don't want to crush him with the... Uh, we don't want to hit his hands. Ideally, we want to hit the base. But it's extremely hard because of the way that the uh, bombs spin around you like that. Also, he only gave us one this time. There we go. Okay, one more hit should do. Oh, gold rocks will give us coins. Not that we need any. Okay. There we go. That's barely a boy getting hit right there. There we go. Okay, that's Boulder Guys dealt with. I am, like, I'm sweating right now thinking about the idea of doing a Daryl Comet. I hope it's like a speedy Comet or something, because, oh my god, I can't believe the game would be that evil. Okay, Dino Piranha, or uh, uh, Fire Dino Piranha, and uh, this guy shouldn't be too difficult. Even with this fiery personality. Okay, so just like Charmander, his uh, tail is gonna go uh, <laughs> light up like that, and uh, <laughs> remember, Char Charmander dies when his tail goes out, so <laughs> unfortunately this guy <laughs> is on death's door because it keeps going out over and over again. <laughs> Dino Piranha is my favorite starter. There we go. Wow. That lit up really quickly. Just gotta be careful. Shoot! I don't want to die right here. I- I was- Are you kidding me? Okay, on the last hit of Dino Piranha again, I actually managed to do a uh, Boulder Geist without taking any damage actually, which is impressive. Uh, I just, I hope I have that luck again for when the Daredevil Comet spawns, assuming it is a Daredevil Comet. Then it completely would be Dino Piranha. Uh, I guess I just got <laughs> flustered with being at one health and then panicking, but, uh, Dino Piranha isn't that bad. I guess trying to not take damage on him is pretty bad, but, hey, we lucked out, so, uh, that's good. Okay, please don't be a Daredevil Comet, please don't be a Daredevil Comet. Okay, <laughs> please have mercy.